viewers welcome to my youtube channel american stitches today i'm going to be illustrating on how to make him um, cow kaftan dress cow kaftan dress but before i start this is four yards of fabric and that's the four yards of lace we're going to use as you've seen on the thumbnail we're going to as you see mine is just a transparent lace which i'm going to use a bridal satin for the lining dolls doll face for the lining under so i are going to set for work. This is the measurement required, the full length, the half length, the bust, the under bust. This is not really necessary. I mean the under bust. But you can still insert it. The shoulder, the hips line, and the hips. Then the sleeve to shoulder extension. I'm going to take it directly as it contains with this, um, as the fabric accommodates it. Since we have a border here that won't cut out. So we're going to start the work. The one you've seen on the thumbnail has a round neck, but yes, because of the border, this one declines. The person that needs it wants it with um, a canonic a kind of. So we're going to set to work. I'll start by showing you the folding and everything. But before we start, please don't fail to subscribe, click on the like and share button to share the videos. And also leave your comments so we could know how to accommodate you well. Thank you very much. You first of all fold the fabric into two like you've seen we have excess set because i'm folding it according to the length which is 58 i've added two inches to become 60 so fold it first into 60 60 by 60 fold it first into two if you check well the length of this will take will accommodate the the 58 which is the full length so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn it to this other side this other side that's how it's going to be. Then I'll fold it again into two again. That's making it four. We now have the front and the back here. So I'm going to place it to take the measurement. And you arrange the fabric. Then you make sure the borders are in the same place. Okay, now you start inserting the measurements. Starting from the shoulder. The shoulder here is 15, which is 15 divided by 2. We have 7 half. This is the 7 half. Like I said, we're going to have the extension of the shoulder, which is what? 17 here. Sleeve slash shoulder extension. So this is it, 17. I'm not going to cut that part. So I'll just take it since the border covers the this thing. The border is going to be the sleeve part. Then I'll confirm the full length, like I said. Full length of the measurement. So it's 58. We're going to confirm that. Make sure it's up to. So it's 60, like, like I told you. 60. I'm going to cut it out here. Yeah. 60. Then, after the shoulder, I'm marking out the other measurement. I know it's a free dress, but I'm going to mark out the measurement, then give the, um, the allowance, seam allowance, to make it free. Now, I'll mark the half length, the half over here first. I'll take 10 for the half over, but to accommodate the free space of the wearing, so I'll take 11 for the half over. On the ham O line, I'm going to mark out the bust, which is what? Bust is 41. 41 divided by 4. We have 10 quarter. It's 10 quarter. Then I'm going to still add allowance of 1.5 inches to make it free. She said she doesn't want it tight on her. And as you've seen, so that it will have its free space for the um the satin if she wears the inner there'll be free space to accommodate that it's, it won't be too tight on the body then the half length here is 15 and i'm going to mark my shape here on the half length 
oh sorry the shape was not included here but her shape was 40 so i'm marking out the 40 here i'll still include one point one and a half then i'll take the heat line which is what 25 is the heat line here then on the heat line line i'm going to mark out the hips it is 48 48 divided by 4 we have 12 and I still insert the one point half and I'm going to connect the line from the hips to the half length to where we have the bust then from there I'm taking it I'm measuring the aim as well what I took for the hips is what I'm taking for the aim too since I don't want it to be tight, I'll take 48 to, which is 12. Then I'll put an extension more than what I took here. I can decide to put up to 6. Um, yes, yeah, 6 down here so that it will be free. She could have access to work freely. Or maybe there about, sorry, 4. She could work freely. I'm taking the down part like A line. I'm connecting the lines from the down part. That's how it's going to be. See a kind of A line. So to bring out the the this thing, the cow caftan sleeve, like I said, the caftan sleeve. So this is the hips line. So I'm going to take four or five or six inches, like what you've seen on the thumbnail, seven inches, sorry, below the hips line. That's where the this thing will stop. Seven inches below the hips line. That's where the cow would stop. So I will take it this way. Like I said, we are not going to cut this off. This is how it will look like. So I'm cutting only the air. I'm cutting this part out. That it will drip. And not forgetting the neck line. I'm measuring the neck right away now. The neck here, I'm going to take, like I said, I'm taking Kenu neck. I'm going to take five here. Yeah. For the up or the neck width, then the neck depth. Since I want it open so she could wear it freely, I also take for the front and back, I also take five. Now connect it. And now slope the shoulder by one inch. Can decide to slope you can allow it some people don't slope they allow the joining on the shoulder to be there that's without the shoulder having cut so that's how it's going to be so we're going to set for the cutting so i'll start first by cutting the full length I just want to see something. I think the this thing will be too down, so I'll stop at the six. That we measure that's six inches below the hips line. So I'll just see the where I mark the six. I'm taking it to the six, not this one. I'm going to cut it out now. That we can start with had the distance already on the ground. The effects.
is what you're going to have. I'm going to open it up right away now for you to see. This is how it looks like. You can use your bias to pipe the neck after joining the shoulder. Use your bias to pipe the neck all around. Then you take the shape properly. You've seen the draping effect already by the sides of the dress. You've seen it. The cow already coming out. While well, the fabric will be, the, this thing will be, the dress in there is just straight. Well, the, you have the, the draping effect by the side. So it's not my size. I'm just trying for you to see well. The only thing is that you turn here inside. You sew here inside, sew here inside. Join the shoulder, use your bias to pipe the neck. You can see the pain on it. Already. See the draping effect by the side. Then use your bridal satin. So it's the straight, this thing, the inner, to make the inner, so it won't show your body. Thank you very much. Hope you learned something from that. Please, don't fail to share, like, and subscribe.